and welcome back to my channel Fire again in this video we are going to see what is ips how you can apply checkpoint ips uh, how you can perform the labs with the ips what are the things offerings we have from the ips and this is all about uh, uh, r81.10 gaia ips so uh, before going in depth uh, just understand the basic theory uh, what is ips uh, how it works i am not going in details that is a, not a uh, not a scope of this lab but uh, this video it will have some understanding over it uh, if you search these documents like atrg ips or the <laughs> Uh, best practice IPS documentation uh, or a checkpoint side. Uh, so this is the documents. So you will get uh, in detail how the IPS works and everything. Uh, you just have to come here and read these details. Uh, let's start with the IPS, what it provides. So as we all know, IPS stand for Instruction Prevention System. So uh, basically, the IPS is a complete cyber security solution for comprehensive protection against malicious and unwanted network traffic. It focuses on the application and server vulnerabilities as well as in the wild attacks by exploit kids and malicious attackers in checkpoint world uh, uh, since the checkpoint uh, they introduced the ips feature uh, it was the amazing journey like uh, you know we are applying the ips protection and we are protecting our network so let's see what are the actual elements and the capabilities of the ips in a short and then we'll uh, move to the actual lab so the element of the protection as you can read is detection and prevention of specific known exploits so what do you mean by known exploit so it works based on the signatures based on the you know previous data analysis so if that thing got match you got protection okay so something which comes like something new and it's a zero day attack and that zero day attack is something newly formed and the signature is not already present into the ips you have not updated the ips blade etc you won't be getting the protection out of it so keep these guys uh, things in mind uh then you can go ahead and read these details like detection and prevention protocol misuse which is, which in many cases indicate malicious activities or potential threats uh detection prevention generic attack type with any predefined signatures such as malicious code and too many things Capabilities, if you talk about clear, simple management interface, reduce management overhead by using one management console for all checkpoint products. Integrated management with smart console applications such as the logs and smart event. So we'll be seeing all these things in a bit. Uh, if you read these documents, you will get more understanding on how these things work. So now let's jump back to the lab. So uh, basically when you uh, go to the <laughs> gateway, uh, when you go to the, the general properties of your gateway, uh, earlier we used to see here there is something like a IPS blade, which you need to enable. It was the previous versions. But right now it's got by default there. You don't have to come here and select any option. When you go to the policy and if you see there is something called threat prevention. And 
beneath that you will see the customization tools or customization policies for the threat prevention one of the policy is ips right so for now if you uh, see i mean if you go back to the customization policy these are the things uh, uh, will be applied and if you see here we have already action item <coughs> one of the action item uh, which we have selected is ips blade if you see so it is by default uh, you know uh, comes with the policy it's uh, up to you at what level you want to you know make that policy so generally uh, this is a default policy what we have for the ips if you like you can create a new policy below okay uh, and give the name say ips demo for example source is any protection slide that, that is not applied optimization it's up to you how you can optimize these things for example i want to edit this and uh, <coughs> what things you need to have here so threat emulation threat extraction with what level for now if say if i disable this i only keep the only one thing say ips and put it into the uh, prevent mode right and if i say okay the optimized profile cannot be changed click ok to save to new profile uh, which one optimized profile is cannot be Let me come again here. Are you sure you want to cancel or lose the changes? Yes. So this is basically the optimized profile. Uh, and let me edit it. So they mean we can't change it let me have this much the optimized profile cannot be changed click ok to save uh, a new profile okay okay so basically earlier in versions we used to do the clone now this is the way we have to do now if you see the clone is getting created the the main optimized profile will not change and the clone will be happen so if you come again here if you edit uh, let me see so this is what the clone we have so we have now now let me edit it so only we have selected this this much option let me only go for the ips and rest thing will be disabled for now okay uh and then i'm just you know uh disabling the first profile which is by default comes we are just you know uh, looking for the ips things so we are doing the logs we are doing the uh packet captures so it's by default packet get captures we are doing the policy analysis if you want you can do like the rest of the things it's up to you as per your configuration so now that is what we have delivered let me go back to the ips protection here and if you see the ips protection is not up to date if you want to do that update you have an option here updates go ahead and just uh, 
click the update ips are no IP, i mean there are no ips enable gateway so far so we are not doing this because of that first we need to install the policy and then we have to come back here and do the things that's what i am assuming so let's go ahead like what are the changes we have made to supply that just publish first and when you go and install policy here you have to select the threat prevention right these are the changes and if you want to see the changes you can go ahead and do the audit logs and this is what we have delivered so far right so just install it Before the policy is getting installed, just quickly see I am trying to do the port scan. And if I say scan it quickly, I can see a lot of services open. And now the policy is got installed. Let's go back to uh, IPS protection and try to update it. So now you can see there is an update to option to update. Okay. So let's see the hotspot scan and if we can edit this, if we can have anything here. So protection is currently logged by the current session. Uh, I think that uh, update, yeah, the update is going on. So let's wait for the <coughs> update. I just want to give you some background here. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the uh, nmap scan to uh, my one of the Windows server. Uh, so this is my Windows Server, and I want to do uh, sports scanning. That uh, I mean, I want to do the sports scanning, and uh, with the sports scanning, I can say these are the things I got open. And with the IPS, we are trying to detect these things and to prevent these things. That is the purpose of this lab. So let me. Please initiate the port scan.
Đấy. So uh, this takes some time. Meanwhile, we'll just uh, walk you through with the options. So what we have to check the IPS thing because the IPS blade is already enabled and the protection is already there. So what we're going to do, we're going to the logs. And here, uh, if you filter out the blades, uh, if I filter or I add, you can add your IPS blade here. So currently we are not seeing any particular IPS on this, uh, which is matching the IPS thing. Uh, you also can come here and uh, just uh, go to the view for smart events. And here also you will can observe the <coughs> IPS kind of traffic. So if anything happening with your network, you can you know see the stuff from here. For example, say security incidents. If you uh, double click, you will see what will be the security incidents you have in your network so far. Provided that you have a smart event blade. So if I say all time, okay. So there is no security event so far. But anything happens, you can come here and check the stuff. Right. Uh, let's talk more about the IPS protection. So this is the IPS protection. Uh, you can update it here and these are the options uh, where uh, if you want to modify this profile uh, you want to make it prevent or uh, you can make it then as a detect mode it's up to you you can do it from here and if you install the policy uh, same things get applied uh, so uh, let's uh, wait till the IPS uh, uh, uh management update get completed and i will see you guys in the uh, next video and similar things i will i mean the next step will be perform uh how we can you know protect these things or detect these things and uh what else we can do with the ips so guys thanks for watching this video and i would